Right, now this, a GOP office in North Carolina, firebombed, vandalized, nobody injured. The leader of the Republican Party in North Carolina, his name is Dallas Woodhouse, he is with us. He's been there, he's seen the damage. And I think, Dallas, are you with us right now? Yes, sir, you are. Now, have you, you called this political terrorism, I believe? Yes, sir. What happened? Well, we know that the, our uh, Orange County office, which is about 40 miles west of the capital city of Raleigh, was uh, heavily burned out, some sort of firebomb, um, all of the inside of about a four or five um, room office was uh, destroyed. But there was also uh, Nazi uh, propaganda, a swastika that said, uh, Nazi Republicans get out or else. Uh, we took that as a threat. Yeah. Uh, we informed all of our offices across the state. Uh, we have 100 counties. We don't have a county office in every one, but we have one in most. We asked some of them to shut down a little early yesterday uh, on a, a Sunday evening uh, so we could get an assessment of the situation. But we do have all of our offices back up and running today, including over there in Orange County. We have a donated bus that we are working out of. We have tables outside, okay. and we are flocked with volunteers that are ready to hold on clean up and keep moving. I, I want to read you Donald Trump's tweet, because he tweeted about this incident. Here it is. He says, animals representing Hillary Clinton and Dems in North Carolina just firebombed our office in Orange County because we are winning. Would you pass judgment on that tweet, please, Dallas Woodhouse? Um, you know, we've seen a lot of people say a lot of things. I agree with them uh, that they are animals, and I agree with them that they are probably people that don't like Republicans very much. Uh, and he's the most high-profile Republican running in North Carolina, uh, along with um, uh, Governor Pat McCrory, who's been attacked by the liberals right and left for passing voter ID and things like that. So um, uh, it's a little, a little further than I would go. Uh, what I will say is I will agree with Hillary Clinton that said this is unacceptable and Donald Trump who said this was done by animals. And then I would add that this has no place in a governing, well functioning democracy. No. Uh, earlier than the day in that office, Stuart, uh, we had people uh, signing up voters, getting walk lists together, and doing the things that you do uh, to voice yourself in a democracy, and then just a few hours later, uh, we, we saw this kind of attack. You got it. Dallas Woodhouse, uh, thank you very much for being with us today. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.